Welcome back. We know where you live is important. It matters to you and your family, and it also matters to us here at 10 Tampa Bay. All throughout the morning and throughout the day, we'll be covering stories all throughout Hillsborough County and the surrounding areas of where I am this morning in Seminole Heights. Residents here in Tampa Seminole Heights, no strangers to construction. It's a story we've been covering here on 10 Tampa Bay since it began three years ago, back in 2021. And it's all part of a massive flooding relief project. And despite the many benefits of it, Many residents want this road work to end. They are certainly frustrated with it. Let's bring in traffic anchor Sarah Rosario right now with more on what residents say the biggest issues are for them right now. Sarah, I know you were talking to them. I know they're frustrated. Definitely, James, and mainly they say it's been a huge inconvenience. Everyone wants the work to be done until it starts, and then, of course, it's not being done fast enough. When we went out and talked to several residents, they say some of the major things they've been dealing with include things like the dust, the road closures, and most of all, the impact to businesses. For years, it's been affecting us, been affecting all of the businesses. They say construction is a sign of progress, but for some people in Southeast Seminole Heights, the road closures and ongoing work is now just a nuisance. Well, it's been really difficult and confusing. It's all part of a massive $39 million flooding relief project that began during the pandemic. Nobody really wants to like call accountability for the construction and all the negative impact that is being having in the neighborhood. With streets that look like this on a rainy day, leaders say it's needed to not only reroute stormwater, but also to replace aging pipes. It's always the next thing. We have no idea what's ever going on. As crews work to install more than 17,000 feet of pipe and other equipment to alleviate flooding, the city put a series of videos out to update residents about the project. This map lays out the plan. The purple and blue show stormwater and pipeline improvements, and the orange squares show transportation and mobility upgrades, which include new sidewalks and more options for pedestrians and bicyclists. So dig a big hole, do something, and then the next week that hole's back because something got messed up. The issue is, like most construction, it's run into setbacks impacting businesses and blocking people from getting in and out of their neighborhoods. It's the logistics, it's communication. It's like, you know, do it in a proper time and do it nice. With the set completion date of January 2025, people we spoke to are hopeful crews will stick to the deadline. Now, as part of this flooding relief project, the city says it's also going to work to prevent future water main breaks and future leaks. They're also adding more fire hydrants and new ones to, for added fire protection. And something else is that they say when it rains, it'll help mitigate the flooding through this area, especially along those hurricane evacuation routes. Until then, residents are just going to have to stand by and wait until the project is done. Something that they hope happens on time.